This one is in Peach Gilt. It's one of my Glint Gilt Gilt store nicely. I'm struggling to get this open. Hey guys, welcome back. So got Friday favorites and fooies for you today, and I have really been enjoying, I would say kind of sparkly, pinky sort of colors. Um, I've got some new goodies to share with you, some revisited favorites from my collection. Um, yeah, just kind of this like fresh, pinky sort of glowy look, I would say. Well, more sparkly than glowy, yeah more sparkly. So anywho, some good things to share with you. If you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites, new the drugstore videos, reviews, get ready with me, some fashion content. So just a lot of fun things here on my channel. So if you are new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I would love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we're chatting about favorites. So let's jump into it. Okay. So first off for eyes, this palette right here. So I got this off of Amazon. I had not tried this brand before, but I really, really like this palette and they have a lot of different options of different eyeshadow palettes. So I definitely want to try more. This is Cleo and this is the Simply Pro Eye Palette and this color is Simply Pink. Simply Pink. So I do have this on my eyes today and the sparkly sort of colors are from this palette. So I'm wearing another palette that I'll mention to you in a second, but the super sparkly part and the inner corners of my eyes, it's from this palette. This is super cute. Um, I actually haven't played with this brush, but another little nice detail is you get this little itty bitty brush that has, you know, little itty bitty brushes on it. Hello. <laughs> so there's one side that's like this and then one side that's kind of more of, this is sort of a, it almost looks like a lip brush, but it's a tiny eyeshadow brush, I think. I mean, you could use it as a lip brush too, but it comes with an eyeshadow palette. So I assume it's supposed to be a tiny eyeshadow brush. So there's that side. And then this side is kind of more of a, a pencil brush or like a detail brush or something. So anyway, it's nice that you get that. And then here is the palette. So overall, just a really pretty pinky blush sort of a color story. So I mainly played with this shadow and this shadow. So I have those in my crease. And then I have a little bit of this on kind of the outer part of my lid. And then this on the inner part of my lid on, and my inner corner of my eye. So this one is super sparkly. I actually also have this on as my highlighter, my cheek highlighter. So highlighter favorite for the week is also this palette. I actually have a little combination. Oh, hang on, let me get these swatched. Okay, so I actually have a little combination of these two as my cheek highlighter. So they're definitely sparkly. So if you don't like sparkly shadows or sparkly highlights, I mean, technically that's the shadow, but if you don't like sparkly highlights, don't use this as a highlight because it is really sparkly. I mean, overall, they're basically just toppers like these two right here, because you'll see in the swatches, they really do not swatch well, but they're so pretty on the eyes. I mean, this right here in a swatch, not impressive at all, but I have it on my eyes and I used it with a setting spray and it's beautiful, like really, really pretty. So don't go buy the swatch. It doesn't tell the whole story because I love it on the eyes. Now, something I did notice about this palette for sure, especially with the matte shades, is they are that type of formula that you have to get through kind of the top layer. And then there's the pigmentation. So I, that's something I definitely noticed about it is I kind of had to get through the first layer. And now I really like it. I mean, it's very nicely pigmented and it wears well. It's really, really pretty. And I just like the overall kind of look and feel of it, that it's just kind of um, pinky, blushy, glowy. And this one in particular, um, this kind of topper shade, I wore this one a lot and really, really enjoy this one. This one has kind of a, like a blue duochrome to it, which is really fun. So it gives this very kind of, um, I don't know, what would the word be? what's the word, magical sort of look on the eyes. It's just so pretty. So I really, really like this palette. Like I said, they have other options, other palette options. So now I'm curious to try more. And then I was so excited to see that Urban Decay came out with a Naked 3 mini palette. 
I love tiny palettes. I just, I just love them. I love that they store nicely. I'm struggling to get this open. That was quite the struggle. But yeah, I love tiny palettes. I love them for storage. I mean, they store really easily. They're nice for travel. They usually have a lower price point. Um, I just like tiny palettes. So I love that they came out with the Naked 3 Mini. So I've definitely been playing with this. Mainly this shade right here, this one, and this one. But I did wear this one day. I don't have this on today, but I did wear it. Didn't really play with that shadow. And I think I maybe, man, I don't, I don't think I used that one either. It looks like I maybe did, but I don't really have a memory of using it. Anyway, these were the main ones that I reached for. Um, this is, you know, like the Naked 3. It's that blushy, kind of taupey, like cool toned side of blushy sort of shadows. So pretty, especially with those deeper shades, like the, the one I'm swatching for you and then the deepest shade. Those are more on the like taupey, cool tone side. So there they are, amazing pigmentation. I love Urban Decay shadows. They are some of my very favorites. They've been some of my very favorites for years and years. I love the Naked palettes. So yeah, I mean, if they just keep coming out with little minis, I'll be all about it because I would honestly rather have more mini palettes than more big palettes. That's for sure what I prefer. So there they are. This one is more kind of pinky. This one is a little bit more rose gold. This is just kind of a light, um, kind of almost a, a taupey pink, kind of a blending shade. And then this one is more of that dusty, taupey gray kind of a color. Beautiful. I love it. I love the packaging. Nice quality, good and sturdy. Good little palette. And for blush this week, this is semi new to me. I don't think I've talked about this one, but maybe I have. I can't remember if I talked about this trio or the other one that I have. I don't know. But anyway, I was grabbing for this one this week and I love these trios from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They, these are their blush trios and this one is in Pink Passion. This is so pretty and the quality is amazing. I gouged a piece out of it, so that stinks, but it's so good. I mean, the quality is just amazing. And I love their bronzers too. I mean, just so blendable, pigmented, like a silky blendable formula, just amazing. So what I have on today is mainly the middle shade, the brighter pink. Um, but I like this palette because it's got <clears throat> kind of like a more peachy pink, a more kind of bubblegum pink, and then a sort of deeper raspberry pink. So it's got lots of different options of pink in this palette. And they're all kind of a satiny sort of a finish. So you can definitely just wear them like they are and get that beautiful wearable satin finish, or you can pair them with a highlighter and then get that glow. So you definitely have, you know, options there. So I have it paired with that shadow, that sparkly shadow as my highlighter. And I just love it. And something about kind of a bright bubblegum pink, just, it's very, I would say mostly spring, but also summer, just kind of, um, I don't know, like a sweet, happy sort of a look on the cheeks. And I think of that for like warmer months. I don't, I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent, but I think it's super duper cute, amazing quality. So yes, I'm losing my lace kimono. So it's awesome. I love this trio. Highly recommend them. If you haven't tried them, I had overlooked them and feel like, wow, I was totally missing out because these are great quality and I love that you get three different options in there. And the pan sizes aren't too small to fit a brush in there, like not a giant blush brush, that won't work. But kind of a mid-size to smaller blush brush totally fits in there really easily. So great little trio. And then busted this out of my collection. Some of the very best affordable blushes out there, out of all of them, I would say. Truly, these are amazing. The CoverGirl Cheekers blushes. If you haven't tried them, I feel like most people have kind of, you know, discovered these and realized how good they are. But if you haven't, try them because they're really, really good. I'm trying to think of, there's one that I've tried that I did not like, but other than that, I've enjoyed them all that I have tried. 
and I want to say it's twinkle or like natural twinkle or something like that that one does not have a, at least that I found the one that I purchased didn't have a lot of pigmentation it was just very sparkly so I didn't like that one but other than that I've loved them all this one is in peach gilt it's one of my glint gilt gilt yes I think it's peach gilt g-i-l-t so it's a beautiful happy peachy shade so I have this on my cheeks today and then I have it topped with that kind of pink year one or the bubblegum pink one from the Anastasia palette but these are awesome they really don't swatch well this one's swatching okay but on the cheeks is really where they shine and I hate swatching them because I feel like I'm gonna give them hard pan uh, but with a brush I mean they're just amazing they are so pigmented easy to work with wear well so yeah they're just really like okay in a swatch but amazing on the cheeks in my opinion so here it is right here so overall it's got like a glowy sort of a finish to it I wouldn't say full-on super glowy but more than satin it has more glow than satin and you can see it's just a fun kind of brighter peach so good and like three or four dollars I mean just so affordable and great quality and they wear well I find that they really stick around on the cheeks well um, and you don't need very much so I mean they're already affordable and then you don't need very much so it's just gonna last so long and be super duper duper affordable they're awesome and then last up for lips I busted this out of my collection one of the Maybelline lipsticks which you know I love 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 uh, this is flush punch and it's a really pretty just kind of peachy neutral shade and you guys something about these lipsticks that I feel like is kind of talked about but is a really good benefit of them that maybe isn't talked about enough is I feel like they're really flattering on the lips and give a hydrated I wouldn't say plump look but fairly smooth look on the lips they're just really flattering I feel like um, this one is just a really pretty I don't know everyday sort of shade for summertime this would be good any time of year but it's a neutral but then it's got a little bit of a just a peachy kind of a brightness to it so pretty it's an overall cream finish and yeah just smooth on the lips every time I wear these I'm like these look so good on the lips because they're just they have enough hydration to them but then they're also not super um, sheer they have some good color to them some really good color payoff and you can't beat the price point like five dollars five fifty that's amazing so yeah love them all these are some of my favorite lipsticks to collect and this one is a great one for summertime okay guys so those are all my favorites so hope that you really enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving let me know what you've been up to recently I would love to hear that ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video